Hello everyone. So today we will discuss about F5 SSL profiles. So we can do SSL session between client and F5 big IP or between F5 big IP and backend server. Or if we want to, we can do both of them. So we have uh, functionality we can do on the both side, right? Either from client to F5. F5 to backend node. So this is the uh, possibility way, possible solution. We can do the SSL profile. So, like uh, let's take example. This is our uh, source IP and these are the destination. So when traffic will be come on F5 IP, on F5 to and to the backend server, the packet will be encrypted, right? packet will be encrypted on both side f5 cannot see the packets as f5 cannot see the packets due to the encryptions so how to make f5 be able to see the packet so this is a question so now we can have big ip as having its own digital certificate terminate the ssl session so on f5 we will create a ssl profile so after that traffic will become on the f5 and as it is discussed we have a two solutions like um, we can do between client and f5 and f5 to backend server this ssl profile we can create so let discuss our next step so what will be happen so now the traffic will be come from user to the backend node traffic will be come on the f5 it will be encrypted we are using ssl profile on f5 so you can see this is a encrypted sign f5 will decrypt the traffic and it will forward to the backend node so we are using ssl profile between client and f5 vip ip so we can also protect the traffic between server and f5 big ip by creating ssl session between big ip appliance and f5 backend server so now you can see earlier it was between client and server now client to f5 f5 to backend server so this is the beauty of uh, ssl profile means your packet will be encrypted on both hand but f5 will not able to see if we want to see we need to create a ssl certificate on f5 like uh, so client to f uh, f5 vip ip this connection will be encrypted most of this scenario we encrypt the client to f5 session only we do if we have very secure environment on that time we create a ssl profile for backend node also okay so now you can see traffic is coming on f5 if we have ssl uh for destination and traffic will be decrypted after that it will encrypted for the destination server so we can see the payload by doing decryption right by and do manipulation as we need to do we can do capture we can check the payload now you can see when client is sending the traffic traffic is coming on f5 packet encrypted f5 decrypted the packet and we can see the payload also in the capture and then f5 will again encrypt the session for backend node for security perspective
if the overhead is too much in the backend server the option we have is not using ssl in the backend part okay so in this example again the traffic is coming f5 the packet is encrypted decrypted then encrypted right we can see the payload and from f5 to destination my packet will be net so between big ip and the backend server is going to use http when without encrypted traffic and uh, we are using let's take example we are using uh, https connection between client to f5 and after that your traffic is going on the normal way let's just do it create client ssl profile attached to virtual server so how we can do so we have some steps let's take uh, let discuss all the steps the big ip is going to need digital certificate we can create self uh, so for to uh, like in this scenario so there is a multiple authorities like dg cert we can create a self and certificate and after that we can um, create a uh, certificate we can generate a certificate from the dg cert the big ip is going to need digital certificate we can do it by creating request and import digital certificate from ca in internet or using self sign to create request certificate we need these are the options so you need to click on system after that file management is option there ssl certificate list create name you need to mention name self sign certificate you need to create a request first after that you need to um, generate a digital certificate from ca certificate authority like digit cert and other uh, some sites are there all the other items default and you can click on the finish so now to create ssl profile client client side how we create click on local traffic then profile ssl client then you need to create a name over ssl client profile if we are creating between server to uh to f5 backend server to f5 we need to create our ssl server profile server client so based on the naming convention you can easily understand so parent profile ssl client we can change the specific attributes by clicking customer and then just change what you are going to change so you need to scroll the way to the bottom and click on the finish create virtual server that is going to use client side ssl profile so you want you if you want to create you need a require all the required details to create a virtual ip then create a virtual ip and name ssl server virtual okay at the xyz you can see and based on the standard based on the company and uh, so you can uh, create that your destination will be this service http and http profile http we can still use our http profile here so now you need to scroll down then you will find ssl profile is over ssl profile 
if you already created you need to click on source address auto map again using the internet floating ip default tool is this so these are the steps and from client side we use https S same thing and from fi to server side will be http means client to server side the connection will be encrypted from fi to server it will be plain text format because that is our intra uh, intra environment that's why the pool doesn't change at all if we go network map then will be health share okay so you can run the, on the browser as well then it will be prompt okay Yeah, thanks all to watching this video.